Nicole here. Now onto the Libra archetype. Uh, Libra is an air sign. Uh, Libra is ruled by the planet Venus. Uh, this is a cardinal sign. So uh, with Libra, we have um, the combination of, you know, not only this cardinal energy, this desire to initiate and start new projects, which you have with all the cardinal signs, but you also have this air element. So this is a sign that is in, uses its mind, right? It enjoys conversation, enjoys learning new things, enjoys thinking about things, the ideas, the, the, the idea of things, okay? And with Libra, because we are ruled by Venus, that means many Librans are interested in the idea of love, or they have this refined aesthetic sensibility about them, where they're interested in, uh, with music or with art, um, the idea that is behind the music and the art, okay? So not just perhaps the song listening to the beauty of the song, but also the lyrics and the meaning to the song, okay? There has to be an element of the mind uh, as applied to beauty, okay? Now, in relationships, Libras can be um, a little bit, like I said, in love, or, well, I didn't say this yet, but in love with the idea of love, okay? The constant conquest and pursuit of a relationship is something that some Libras, if they're operating more on the shadow, immature side of, of Libra, can definitely be uh, accused of having um, um, portrayed, I guess. So, but with Libra, and I'm a Libra son, so I'm going to speak from personal experience, Libra is ultimately a very balanced sign. It's the scales, but really it's also this concept of the masculine and the feminine brought into sort of perfect harmony with one another. So that's why you see Libra males typically will have a little softness to them. They'll have, whether it is um, a social kind of uh, diplomacy or sort of a social, the ability to be, um, what's the word? It's like social lubrication, you know, good sense of humor. They'll keep things light. Um, I've got a good guy friend, Chris Woida. He's my birthday twin. And he's also, you know, Libra man. And he, he's this big, tall guy. Like you would look at a picture of him and you wouldn't think that's like a feminine guy or anything. You would sit and talk with him. You wouldn't think he's feminine. But the thing about him that is so Libran is his desire to connect people. He loves to connect other human beings to one another. And there again, that's kind of like matchmaking. That's very Libran. And my favorite thing as an astrologer is I love doing relationship readings. I love helping people, whether it's romance or whether it's you know family members, uh, parent, child. All of these are, are fascinating to me, how you bring these two separate kind of alchemies together and then they create their own third sort of alchemy. This is a Libra, a, a, a Libran um, thing, I guess. So now um, with Libra, let's talk about in relationships. Um, because they're an air sign, although they're ruled by Venus, and if you know the mythology of Venus, you know, she's quite this um, impetuous, like, I don't know, just a little bit of a brat, right? Venus, she, she just kind of did what she wanted to do. And then when she was done doing what she wanted to do, she would Split off and go do something or someone else. And so that's Venus, right? Venus is traditionally, you know, she's the goddess of love, Venus or Aphrodite, depending on, you know, whether we're talking Greek or Roman. Goddess of love, she's about the senses, the five senses. She's about uh, enjoying being in the human body and enjoying uh, everything that there is to enjoy in the human body, and mainly love and romance and sexuality. That's why Venus is a sexual planet in our, when we're looking at our, our whole chart. It's what rules uh, the sign Libra. But when it's in Libra, Venus also rules Taurus. And in Taurus, it's straight up um, more the sensual, physical side of sexuality. In Libra, this is more the idea of love and romance, the idea of the ideal romantic partner, the ideal experience, the ideal, etc. Okay, so, and Libra is refined. There's a refinement that you don't have in Taurus. Taurus is going to be a little more earthy. Libra is going to be a little bit more uh, erudite, I guess. Um, so, so you have this. Now, back to, back to the thing I was saying about the gender. So you'll have a man who has Libra sun, moon, or rising. There's going to be a femininity about him. There's going to be a quality of he'll be interested in social interactions, okay? So whether it's, like I said, with my friend who's interested in, has, he has a lot of female friends. Uh, my brother also, he and I have the same birthday, and he's the same. He's got female friends at work. Um, he's always been really close with my mom. Like, he's, there's this soft side to them. Even though he's a very masculine person, Libra gives this ability to balance the masculine and feminine quite nicely. 
Females who are Libran, um, typically there's the, the saying, the iron fist in a velvet glove. Female Librans are very strong um, and many times can feel almost masculine, um, although they look feminine. And I would say I'm probably a good example of this. I look feminine, I dress feminine, I act feminine, I treat people in a way that's feminine. But um, I'm also very independent. And this is because Libra is on the axis. It's a Libra, Aries, there, that's the axis. And so this is the axis of the, the individual, which is Aries, and Libra, which is the, and the partner, which is, which is Libra. Libra's partnership or marriage, Aries is the individual. So all of, remember, all of the axes, you always hold some of the opposite sign within your own personality. It's just like a light and shadow kind of a thing, yin and yang. So the way that it plays out is, is female Libras many times will have this kind of toughness about them. I believe Margaret Thatcher's a Libra, if I remember correctly. Um, so there is this ability, and this is the toughness is because they have the ability to be in their logic. When you as a female are in your logic, that's, that's the stereotype or even the archetype of the feminine is the emotions, to be in your emotions, right? To be changeable, to be like the moon, to be like the cycles of a woman, right? It's always changing. Whereas logic uh, sort of just stands still and um, while other things rush around it, logic is just steady. It's unmoved and it's unwavering. It's unmoved by emotion. So a uh, Libra female many times, because they are more logical, they are more... Uh, they're analytical and, and not quite the same as a Virgo, but there is this ability to be analytical and to question things and to stand up for something if they don't agree with what's happening. If there's an injustice being being carried out, they will stand up for the underdog, okay? Um, they like things to be fair, very much so. Um, now, also Libra shadow side material would be, because it's ruled by Venus, and this is true for Tor Torians too, but um, there is vanity. You know, they can be vain. They can, they can be um, even shallow, right? So they can, in their quest for, you know, love and romance, they can maybe sometimes hurt other people when they, they're just very flirtatious, you know? They like to socialize. They like to, they like that pleasurable interaction between two people, and especially people of the opposite sex. It's fun, right? So, but they can mean nothing by it. And and on the, well, there's two parts to this. So if your partner's Libra and he or she's quite flirtatious with the opposite sex, but they tell you that they love you and they're showing through their actions that they're with you, then you can trust that they're with you. But a shadow side of Libra, Libras can be flirtatious. They can be Venusian. They can be, you're my Mr. Today. This is my Mr. Today. Tomorrow, this is going to be my Mr. Today or however you say it, right? Like they can flit about. Um, and especially, you know, you have to look at their house, in particular, their house placement, where their sun is placed in their chart will tell you and all the aspects that are coming into the sun. That's going to tell you more about their Libra and sun, if they're going to be um, someone who's going to be loyal or not. Uh, and so there's a vanity there. There is a also this kind of indecisive thing with Libra because everything sort of looks lovely. Oh, I want to try that and I want to try that and I want to try that. I can't decide. What if I miss out, you know? So this can happen. This can also happen with Libras. Um, there's a passivity there, you know? Like especially Libra and men, men with Libra, they can be a little passive. Um, I have an Aries moon, so it drives me crazy. But <laughs> I was married to a Libra. He's such a good guy. But there are certain things where you just... Uh, well, he doesn't really necessarily fit this, but sometimes with Libra men, they can be, well, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Okay? And then it's just like, enough. Stop. Libra and females, not so much, but that's more a Libra and male thing. Libra and females are going to be more, um, oh, there's an indec indecisiveness, indecisiveness there too, to a certain extent, but it's more kind of the opposite, like them, well, you don't want to do that with me? Okay, well, I'm going to go do it by myself. You know, it can be a little more independent, more pulling from the Aries side of things. So that's, that's been my, it's my experience anyway. So at any rate, uh, that is your, uh, your Libra archetype. You've got a, a refined, somebody who appreciates beauty in the arts, who loves uh, sharing things with other people, who is about partnership. Um, and uh, they're just all around great, great folks says the Libran. <laughs> okay, if you have questions, comments, post below. Right.